it is indicated here that you were also convicted four times in the RTC. That uh, case uh, is related to my uh, profession as a journalist, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, there was a conviction that that's correct, but it is uh, because of uh, my line of work as a journalist. That's uh, it's a libel, uh, four counts of libel. Same individual, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. I was a columnist and I write a story about the person, uh, about the government official, actually. And uh, I have my sources and I was compelled by the court to divulge my sources, but I did not. So uh, it went all the way up to the Court of Appeals and to the Supreme Court, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. The problem we're trying to uh, press out here, Mr. Chair, is whether or not his conviction will be uh, a uh, an issue in the uh, process of confirmation because as the Supreme Court enunciated in several cases, Mr. Chair, um, libel is an offense that involves moral turpitude. And in, in some other cases uh, disposed by the Supreme Court, there were certain people who were disqualified from holding positions because they have been convicted of crimes involving moral turpitude. This, this is the dilemma, Mr. Secretary. Of course, I am uh, in support of your, uh, of your uh, confirmation as Secretary of BSWD. Uh, and uh, I believe you have uh, just uh, succeeded in uh, proving to, uh, to our people that you are qualified. Uh, but uh, this is a problem that we need to trace out, Mr. Chair. Uh, how do we uh, how, how do we dispose this uh, this dilemma before us? Because it is in the report. I could not have asked you this question, uh, Mr. Secretary, if it does not if it did not appear in the report submitted to us by the Commission uh, uh, on appointments. There are many pending bills, both in the House and in the Senate, to decriminalize um, libel. libel. In fact, the visit by our own DOJ secretary to the United Nations, that was in fact even suggested by the Canadian representative. And I myself am an author um, of a bill seeking to decriminalize um, libel. So if this would be taken against the um, nominee, um, and later on that bill is um, approved by Congress, I think it would be prejudicial, to say the least, and unfair, if you would be taking that um, against him. Just for the consideration of the committee, um, Mr. Chairman, when we go into caucus later. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh,